We are back with you on Listens Live. Freedom Mini Dental Implants here. Dr. Ackerman answering your questions. And uh, we have Janita on the line right now with a question. Janita, if you can hear us, you can go ahead and ask the doctor your question. Yes, uh, Dr. Ackerman. Yes, I was calling about I had uh, the balloons on my front of my teeth, and one was out. And I went to the doctor, and he pulled all four of my teeth in the front. And they weren't rotten or nothing. And I got some portions in my mouth now, and I cannot stand them. And I want to know what can I do. Sometimes I cry about it because everybody said that he shouldn't have pulled your teeth out like that. Yeah. When you had perfect teeth in the front, I just had one missing and had balloons in my mouth for over 30 years. So the yeah, ones snap on, you know, to your regular teeth. Yes, ma'am. I understand why you're, you know, upset. Those partials are no fun to wear. They are, you know, cumbersome and big in your mouth and they are hard to eat with. Um, so yes, I definitely can, you know, help you out. So I can replace one tooth, I can replace three teeth, I can replace four teeth in your your um, situation. And I'll show those models here in a little, little bit, but certainly um, can use the mini dental implants to replace those missing teeth. And that's one thing to mention, the call the office, please set up a consultation. It's no charge for the consultation and it includes a 3D x-ray which a lot of dentists charge $500 for but for me I want that x-ray to make sure that you do have enough bone and you are a candidate for it um, and then I can certainly you know explain the process and I'll probably show the models here in a second on TV um, and go over costs with you but yes please make the consultation because I can replace those four teeth with the mini dental implants and put a, a cement a bridge in there and you get rid of that partial so nothing coming in and out of your mouth anymore it'll feel like your natural teeth again you can taste your food again you don't have to worry about something rubbing on your gums so fantastic question and please call for the consultation yeah that, that's a perfect segue before we get to our next caller uh, let's go ahead and, and show now because yeah. you have a couple models that, that show not only what could have been done maybe in the past when what she was bringing up with her story Correct. but what we can do now yeah so exact in your case um, a lot of people might be just missing one tooth or multiple teeth so you know this is kind of a case, uh, situation in the back where you're maybe missing three teeth but it could be the front four teeth you're missing and gonna place the implants the exact same way so they're just a smaller diameter implant so a lot less invasive um, less healing time less costly than the big surgical ones so uh, numb you up no incisions or stitches the day I put the implants in you'll leave with the temporary on there so Janita in your case you get rid of that flipper and that partial the day I put the implants in and you don't have to wait another three to six months to get your nice pretty permanent teeth you'll come back about a month later usually I don't even have to numb you up again I'm gonna take that temporary off we'll have the nice pretty permanent teeth and that gets cemented on permanently onto those implants so nothing comes in and out anymore you're gonna brush it just like normal teeth and you don't have that partial or that flipper anymore and it could just be a lot of people are missing maybe a front tooth maybe they weren't born with that tooth or a sports injury or a car wreck whatever reason it could just be one tooth um, in the front or the back and I can replace that with the mini dental implant as well so definitely help out a lot of people in her situation struggling with those partials or what we call flipper sometimes if you have it you know what it is because you hate it <laughs> yeah, hearing hearing Janita's story who knows maybe maybe someday we'll, you'll be back here and we'll have a before and after yeah, and we'll, be we'll see how we're able to help okay we have another caller on the line now with a question Teresa if you can hear us you can go ahead and ask Dr. Ackerman your question yes Dr. Ackerman yes. Um, unfortunately I was asked by my paparazzi to take his teeth to the dentist to have them clean uh -huh. and um, I unfortunately dropped them and did not realize that they fell out of my purse uh -huh. and I backed over them in the driveway oh, goodness. and I yes and I rent his teeth yes. and he's been putting off he has had he's a diabetic and um, he also has had um, his bladder removed for cancer would there be anything that we'd be that 
would keep him from being able to be a candidate for those to be replaced, like you said? Right. So what you just mentioned, you know, being a diabetic or a cancer survivor, you know, no. I, I've placed lots of implants on people that um, are, are diabetic or even on blood thinners or, you know, have extensive medical histories. And that's a great thing about the mini dental implant because it is a lot less invasive. So, you know, it heals faster and I don't have to take people off blood thinners. So he could certainly be a candidate. Like I said, if you can just get him in for the consultation, I'll take that 3D x-ray and see if he's a candidate and we'll make new dentures for him, make it a snap-in denture, or maybe even wants to do the permanent teeth, which we'll show later, and get rid of the denture completely so then nothing would ever have to come in and out and you don't have to worry about taking a denture to get it cleaned anymore. Um, so it sounds like he certainly could be a candidate. So please call and make the consultation. That's why it's so important uh, that, that people are getting to learn about this, this mini option because I can imagine you have patients who, who have come in with extensive medical histories before, have already been through so much in their lives, and it's yes. just one more thing that they've had to deal with, and, and hopefully this is this is a way after going through the consultation, we're able to fix one of those aspects. Definitely. A lot of people, you know, maybe had heart conditions or cancer survivors or for whatever reason, and maybe they put their, you know, their, their teeth last on the list mm -hmm. of things to take care of and, and needed all their teeth removed for whatever reason. Um, so certainly here to help for sure. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do, uh, we'll show the permanent teeth model, at, which is a, a great option to, yes. to not have to, to lose anything after we come back Correct. from the break. We still have time to take some questions too. So if you have a question for Dr. Ackerman, that number 502-571-5263, we'll answer them live on the air and we'll be back after this short break. Back with you now on Wave Listens Live. Dr. Reagan Ackerman is here answering your questions about Freedom Mini Dental Implants. And we have a caller on the line right now. K1, if you can hear us, you can go ahead and ask Dr. Ackerman your question. K1, can you hear us? Okay, we're gonna go to a, another caller. We have Alvin on the line. Alvin, if you can hear us, you can go ahead and ask the doctor your question. Yes, uh, I wanted to know if there was a timeline on the uh, on the on the uh, the deal today. You mentioned the 3D free 3D three uh, uh, screening. Was there a timeline on that? If you could have to call today to get that offer, so, and then what what can you explain real quick? What uh, what would stop somebody from possibly being a candidate? Uh, when you talk about, uh, we'll take the 3D picture to see if we're if you're a candidate for the mini dental implants or any kind of. You know, if you could touch on that, what, was, what would stop somebody from being a candidate? Yeah, Thanks. Certainly. Um, so yeah, no, no timeline on that um, free consultation with the x-ray, because uh, once again, I want that information. What that x-ray, it being 3D, it allows me to see the width and the height of your jawbone to see that there is enough bone for me to be able to place a, a mini dental implant. Because um, a lot of times I don't have to have as much bone, but I still need to be able to measure it, make sure there's enough bone for a mini dental implant. And no timeline on that, so the consultation is always uh, free and that includes the 3D x-ray for me to you know do your exam and, and make sure you're a candidate for the mini dental implant and really the only reason as far as saying a candidate is if I were to look at that 3D x-ray and measure like the height and the width of your bone if there just was no bone there if it's paper thin or not enough bone to be able to retain a mini dental implant then I would have to say you're not a candidate for the implants I will say that's pretty rare I'd say about 90 to 95 percent of the patients that walk into my office I can give them an option with the mini dental implant and they are a candidate. Uh, so it's pretty rare I have to tell somebody they're not a candidate. I'd say not having enough bone and a recent history of head and neck radiation because of cancer treatment, that's one other thing that can make you not a candidate for implants, um, you know, if it's been recent because of the radiation. That was such a great great question from Alvin because uh, that there may be people sitting at home right now thinking, oh, there's just no way 
way that I'm going to be a candidate because maybe they feel a certain pain level or somebody else down the line right. told them that they weren't. Yes. But but you don't have anything to lose by by having the free consultation exactly. coming in, getting to meet yes. you in person, and then you taking a look yourself with the 3D images and saying, well, actually, maybe you were told that in the past, but I do have a solution yes. for you. Yes, and actually, I've done that. A uh, patient just recently um, came in for a consultation and she was told, you know, she had no other options besides her upper denture. She couldn't have implants, no other options. And we took the 3D x-ray and I was able to give her the option of doing the permanent teeth. So we, there was still enough bone to be able to place about eight to 10 mini dental implants and then be able to do permanent teeth where we got rid of the denture completely. And it was life-changing <laughs> for her and she was just so excited. And I can actually, we'll go ahead and do That's show a and perfect tell time. on that yep. model <laughs> because yeah, this was her exact situation. Situation. So this is what we call the permanent teeth. So still using the mini, mini dental implants and placing them the same way, um, no incisions, no stitches, just numbing you up, local anesthetic, just placing more implants, usually about eight to 10, just depends on you know how much bone you have and size of your mouth. And then when, when I place these implants, I'm able to make a bridge of just teeth. So a lot less bulky than a denture. And this gets cemented on permanently. So it no longer comes in and out. It's just like having your natural teeth. And then you have nothing on the roof of your mouth. You get to taste your food again. Nothing is gagging you. And you're gonna brush these just like regular teeth, toothbrush, toothpaste. We give you a water pick to keep them clean. But this feels most like your natural teeth, the permanent set of teeth. And I was able to do this for a patient um, about a month ago that was told she had no option. She thought she was stuck with an upper denture. And we were able to give her this bridge and now she has these teeth cemented on nothing comes in and out and she can taste her food no gagging no denture so life-changing I can sure. I can imagine the the smile on her face after that yes. which which you have this beautiful new set of teeth now but for you as as a doctor who who, who this is what you Yes. did with your life you yeah. went through years of schooling and medical school you've yeah. learned all of these different trades to bring that to us here in yes. louisville and you have stories yeah. like that it's got to be great and that's one of the reasons i love the mini dental implant because it can give people options that thought they had no mm -hmm. options anymore or they you know, like i said they didn't think they had options with implants or they didn't think they could afford implants so a lot of times the mini dental implants are a, a lot more affordable than the surgical implants and we have payment plans as well to, you know totally understand everyone's situation is different but you know we have people come in with you know crazy treatment plans for the surgical ones and a lot of times we're able to give them a treatment plan about the third of a cost maybe even half depending on the situation of what their their surgical implant treatment plan yeah is. that's a great option for a lot of people that have payment plans yeah. available okay let's talk for a minute uh, about the the two offices where to find you uh, yes. if you want to schedule consultations easiest way to do it yeah, certainly so we have two offices uh, one is on Dixie Highway across from Valley High School School. And then the other office was on Bardstown Road in the Fern Creek area, um, close to Wildwood Country Club. And so two great locations. Uh, and same thing, it's just me. I'm the only <laughs> dentist. I'm at each office two days a week. So not corporate, small, locally owned office. And we will take care of you. You will not be a number at our office for sure. All right. And then if, if people want to schedule one of those consultations, website, phone numbers, are an easier way to do it? Yeah. So freedomimplants.com will have all the information. Um, and just call make that consultation appointment all right well we, we thank you for being with us here as always answering questions out there and for having a service like this uh, in our community it's it's much needed and, and I know a lot of people appreciate thank it thank you it's very rewarding <laughs> always good to have dr. Ackerman here with us and always good to share 30 minutes with you in the middle of the week we will be back here tomorrow at 12 30 see you then Hey there, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on Wave Listens Live. I'm your host, Brian Schlonsky. We've got another great show for you today. We have Dr. Reagan Ackerman here. She'll be taking your questions throughout the show. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. We've got the models here. We've got before and afters. And again, all your questions asked 
live on the air today. But before we get to those three great segments with Freedom Mini Dental Implants, we've got a giveaway for you today. Bourbon and Beyond, it's uh, coming up fast. It is this weekend, and we've got exactly what you need to enjoy the biggest eight days in music, starting with Bourbon and Beyond and then going into Louder Than Life the next weekend. For this weekend, we are giving away two weekend passes for Bourbon and Beyond. All you've got to do to win is call the number right there on your screen, 502-571-5263. Again, 502-571-5263. That's your chance to win those two weekend passes for this year's Bourbon and Beyond, a great lineup as always. So as we bring you back here into the studio, Dr. Reagan Ackerman here with us as always for Freedom Mini Dental Implants. It's always great to see you and have you here on Listens. Great, thank you. Let's uh, start uh, talking about uh, for people that maybe need a refresher, just what Freedom Mini Dental Implants is certainly. and how you can help. Yeah, certainly. So what I'm able to do is um, we say they're mini implants because they're just a smaller diameter implant. So they're a lot less invasive, less healing time, and usually less costly than the bigger surgical more traditional implants um, so with these smaller diameter implants I you know a lot of people are struggling with dentures maybe using tons of denture glue I can use the mini dental implants to snap their dentures in no more glue and be able to eat again with their dentures or with, we can do permanent teeth and throw away the dentures completely um, or I just do single teeth a lot of people are just missing a front tooth or a back molar they want to chew again so there's numerous ways that I can use the mini dental implants to help people. Maybe the easiest way to explain what mini actually means is by show and tell. You always yes. do a great job of bringing models yes. with you and I see you brought a couple yeah. today. So yeah, show and tell is always great. So one of the most common things I do is uh, what we call a snap in denture. So a lot of people are struggling with dentures. They d can't keep their lower denture in, their top denture's gagging them, they're using tons of glue, they can't eat with Which them. Which sounds like a lot to go through yes. every day. Yes, so the mini dental implant will solve those problems. We're, we're able to do what we call a snap-in denture. And so these are the mini implants. So they're just a smaller diameter implant. So when I place these implants, I'm just numbing with a little local anesthetic. I do not have to do sedation. I don't have to put you to sleep. My patients drive themselves to the office and drive themselves home. No, no swelling, no bleeding. Um, so just a, a little numbing and no incisions or stitches. And then essentially I make a little tiny little pilot hole. And then this is a like a one piece titanium screw that screws in. And then the great thing about the mini implant, the day I put these implants in, I will put these attachments inside their denture and they will leave with the denture snapped in that same day. So they don't have to wait another three to six months for those implants to heal up before we use them. So the same day I put the implants in, they'll leave with the denture snapped on and then no more denture glue. That denture is staying in, it's a lot more stable, they can eat again, um, they'll wear this denture 24 seven, they'll snap it out once a day, rinse and clean it, and then snap it right back in. So that's one of the biggest advantages of the mini implant. I can't imagine the comments you probably get from someone who has been dealing with what you, what you were discussing earlier, gagging, glue, eating yes. issues for years and years and years, come in, yes. have something done, leave that day, so and have your life changed. So many people are struggling with it. and. A majority of people know someone that is struggling with this, but a lot of people kind of struggle in silence because they're mm -hmm. embarrassed about it or they may not even tell their loved ones about it. So chances are you probably know someone struggling with dentures. Um, and that may be why they don't want to go out to eat or to social events because they either are afraid their dentures are going to fall out, they can't mm -hmm. eat with them, um, they're afraid of smile in pictures. There's so many reasons. Um, and then the mini dental implant just can be a more affordable option as well or option for for people, maybe they were told they weren't candidates for the bigger surgical implants. They didn't have enough bone. A lot of times with the mini implant, because it is a smaller diameter implant, I don't have to have as much bone to place an implant. So people that were told they weren't candidates for implants can be candidates for the mini implants. And, and part of that you mentioned when we were showing the first model with the with the small pilot hole. You yes. have a, a, yeah. another we'll display here. Yeah, again. because yes. this one really tells how small that it hole really speaks is. Speaks volumes. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if you can get the close-up because the, the hole is, is small. So I'm going to cover, 
the big hole you see, that's, that's not the that one. That is not the one I make. This is the traditional surgical one. So this smaller hole here, that is the pilot hole I make to place an implant. So I will, you know, numb you up just a little local anesthetic and make that hole to place the mini dental implant. So as you can see, I don't have to have as much bone to place an implant. So people that maybe lost teeth because of periodontal disease or bone loss or were told they had to have bone grafts or sinus lifts, I usually do not have to do that with the mini implant and I can place the implant. So, and that's what makes it a lot less invasive and less healing time versus the bigger surgical implant. So big difference. You can tell the difference just by looking at that. Okay, uh, we're not going to break just yet, but when we do, a reminder that on the other side, Dr. Ackerman will be taking your questions. It's the same number from Bourbon and Beyond. It's the one we always use, 502-571-5263 if you'd like to call in and she'll be able to answer your questions. Uh, before we do go to break though I want to show the show and tell the the before and after photos because yes. you brought some great ones today yes. yeah so today I brought uh, Miss Jerry um, so she came to me struggling with her dentures um, had had you know dentures made wasn't really wearing them actually when she came to me and I know so many people have this story she had actually lost her lower denture because she took it out to eat at a restaurant mm -hmm. she was actually traveling took it out wrapped it up in a napkin got down the road and was like, oh my gosh, I left my denture and, on the tray. And on the yes. road traveling? And on the road traveling. And of course went back, called the restaurant, had, had been thrown away. Long gone. Yeah. And so she came to me and she's like, I have got to get another solution. Um, so we were able to do upper and lower snap in dentures for her. And there is That's her beautiful. gorgeous smile and even added her gold tooth back because that was her trademark. Okay, that was a signature. That. Yep. She was like, I gotta have it. <laughs> you get, so you're doing and custom so, jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so we were able to do that for her. Um, and actually, I did her case several years ago, and I just saw her a couple days ago. Um, we were doing some testimonials and, and things, and she was just like, this has changed my life. She said best money she'd ever spent um, and doesn't have to worry about taking her denture out and losing it on the road traveling in a restaurant. Can you so, imagine so. the stress of going going through that, but then coming yes. out on the other side, and, and I'm sure she's probably booked other trips since then, yes. and, and it's just yeah, one less worry. Doesn't have to worry about you know where she, what she's going to order off the menu. Menu, where she's going to eat um, and another kind of story about Jerry is she had kind of struggled um, with more of a, a corporate dental place you know trying to get dentures made and that's one thing I want people to know is that we are a local small office locally owned um, it's me I'm the owner <laughs> and I'm the only dentist you'll see there so we're a very small office it's me my husband um, two other employees so we're not a big corporate you're you're not a number to us most patients become family we we kind of joke it's like cheers we know your name when you walk in <laughs> <laughs> we've done uh, some of the listens uh, live on locations out at your Bardstown Road location yes. and it's it's a beautiful setting it's it's so comfortable and and I can imagine people love that experience when they yes. come through the doors yes all right well we will be back with more from Freedom Mini Dental Implants after this short break. Remember, we are taking your questions live on the air. There's a lot that we can get answered during this show. 502-571-5263. Call in. We'll get them answered after this.